Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for October 2022. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, which you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on. After that, we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person or whoever's on your mind. So if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. You know how much I love you. And if you are new, welcome. I do hope that if you enjoy the messages, you will subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you would like a personal reading, I am a psychic medium, so I don't use tarot in my personal readings. I just like to let the new people know that if you are seeing me for the first time and you're interested in one of those. Okay, so... Let's see what's going on for you guys. I think that was everything. The information for those personal readings are in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, let's get a feel for your overall energy. We have the page of swords. So there could be suspicion, not for the entire month, but around somebody really being forthright. You may be questioning people around you during the month of October. Doesn't mean the whole month is going to look like that, but I feel this kind of theme playing out where you're questioning either the action, the intentions, the truth that may or may not be coming out of somebody's mouth and whether they have the best, I want to say the best intentions with you, for you. So I'd say keep your feelers up. Of course, you know that your intuition is really heightened because you're a Pisces, probably one of the most, I'd say the most intuitive, even though Cancers believe they are. All the water signs are incredibly intuitive, but you guys have another side to you that's just a little bit more in touch with things, even if you don't pay attention to it too much. So I'd say be aware of those things around you and not necessarily paying too much attention to what other people are doing. That's another side note. All right, so your current energy is the Three of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Cups in reverse, and then we have the Hermit. So some of you... Uh, could be leaving situations or have left situations and realize that you need to take a time out. Um, whatever that situation is for you, it, I'm not sure that it's around love, but for some of you it could be. And maybe things just weren't as exciting or as happy as you thought they were going to be. So there's kind of a sense of not feeling quite like yourself right this moment. Doesn't mean that, again, during the month things aren't going to change. So the hermit is popping up to let you know that maybe there's just a little time that um, you need to reflect on some things and make sure that you're getting exactly the messages that you think you are. I keep wanting to say check in with yourself. If you have not walked away from something that you feel was um, kind of iffy and not as exciting or had changed in some way, then I think taking this time to really reflect on it is going to be important. I feel like a light needs to be shown very clearly on a person or a situation. Okay. And I don't feel like that person's going to be, it's not that I don't think that they'll necessarily reach out. I just think that you need to be aware of yourself and focus more on not being so focused on what they may be doing. Okay, so in the near future, we have the Four of Swords, the Emperor in reverse, and the Star in reverse. So for some of you, you're just processing, how do I want to deal with this? How can I get through or get through it and out of my head? The Emperor in reverse is a sense of like, maybe I don't feel like I'm so in control of all situations, but it's having faith. So there's still some healing that needs to be done. If you had already walked away, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, everybody's pretty, pretty much here. It could take some time for you to get back to a place where you feel like you have control over your situation. Um, and October could be just a month where you need to focus primarily on you. That's what the Hermit card is about. It says once we leave situations, once we handle things, we have to take time. And for you guys, this month is going to be around focusing on either healing. Well, healing is definitely part of it. Um, reflection, what you've been through, what you learned from it, all of those things. Even when you're very spiritual, we all still go through things. 
and we have to take time out for ourselves to process. And I think that's going to be important. Now, what you don't see coming is the sun in reverse with the two of pentacles and the strength. You could be dealing with very strongly a Leo. I don't think there's going to be any going back and forth. So if, if you're concerned that something's going to wear you out or you're not going to be happy without a person or a situation in your life, I think it's exactly the opposite. What Spirit's trying to say is what you don't see coming is that this is what's being wiped away, where you were being drained energetically or you couldn't make up your mind because you were you know, back and forth confused about somebody else's energy, where there was unhappiness or a dissatisfaction that you were feeling, whether it be at work or in a partnership or anything in your life. This is what's going to be leaving. So what you don't see coming is that these are no longer going to exist. You're actually going to be finding yourself in a much better place because your focus is not going to be on these things or this situation or person. So what does spirit want you to focus on? Not love. Uh, the king of pentacles, the lovers in reverse with the king of pentacles and the ten of cups. So basically what Spirit's saying to you is you don't have to focus so strongly on your partnerships this month. What's meant to be is going to be. If it's going well and you're not worried about your relationship and you're here for the other things, then this may not be your primary focus. Your focus is getting back control of your own circumstances. So if there's been a glitch in your work situation or you just hadn't felt like maybe this year you've saved enough. Um, the King of Pentacles wants to save and be stable and be in a good place financially. And that's what's going to bring you the most joy. Focus on the things that make you happy. If it's your family... Fantastic. Focus on them. Focus on your kids. Focus on the things if you have them. Focus on the things that truly make you feel the happiest, the most emotionally fulfilled, and the most stable in your life. I think for any human being alive, masculine or feminine, when our finances feel good, we feel good. Now, some people, no matter how much money they have, they're never content. But in your case, I feel like you just kind of want to have things back in order. I don't necessarily feel like it's that you have to, you know, we all want to make a lot of money, but I just don't think that's it for you. I think this month it's just getting control of things again and, you know, spending some time with family. And that's what Spirit's trying to get your attention about and say, focus on this. Don't focus on the things that you've walked away from. As hard as it may be, um, not to let your mind go there. Yes, will you think about these things? Will you realize that maybe you lost your power in some ways in these situations that, needed to leave your life, uh, yeah, and that's what happens, especially when we're really in the depths of going through our spiritual awakening, <clears throat> and then even if you have, and you felt like, my God, I've healed from all of these things, you're never done, so just know, yes, yeah, some things that are uncomfortable are still going to pop up in our, in our experiences, we can't help that, no matter how much we know or have already healed, all right, so is there going to be a challenge, King of Cups, it, it can be challenging for you to give away your emotions or energy to people that you realize are toxic. It could also be challenging for you to realize how emotionally unavailable and toxic someone is. So keep those feelers up. If you are starting to sense that somebody has codependency issues, usually that's because they are emotionally unavailable and they don't go into relationships or situations because they want to give emotion. It's because they want to receive it. So that could be a big epiphany for some of you this month. And that's a good thing. It's propelling you forward. It's saying, I don't want to experience that side of things. Now, passion could be great. But emotional unavailability for a Pisces, I just don't think is going to work. All right, let's see what we get with the Page of Swords to clarify. This is for Pisces. All right, so the lovers. So this was an experience. Remember I said, be cautious. If there was a focus on a situation, a love situation, spirits like maybe you need to pull back a little bit and not focus so much on them. That's why it came up in reverse here and it's in the upright here with the page of swords in reverse. The two of cups. For those of you that are working through either a breakup or having walked away from someone, you could have felt like, you saw the moon in this person's eyes and that there was so much love and connection there. I think that's what you desire. And sometimes we can look past some of the little white lies that people tell or the things that spirit's trying to show us or the universe, what you, whatever you believe in. And at times we can get so involved that we don't recognize 
some of the things that are happening. So I think you're getting clarity around that and the world because it's this is a cycle that's closing out for you where you may have thought, oh, well, it's me. Um, if that person is creating a situation and I'm not feeling good, it's because I need to change something. Instead, you're recognizing the relationship for what it is and the person for what they are, especially if they're codependent, emotionally unavailable, they can't show up for you and you continually, you know, allow that behavior. You want to step back and say, you know, it doesn't matter how much I love someone. It hurts more than it feels good. And this is a cycle I need to get out of. All right. So we have the high priestess in reverse and yes, some of you, you knew your, your intuition was telling you, you had all the, the signs, everything was showing you and a part of you was still a little bit resistant and that's okay. Nobody's saying we're all perfect. We make these choices because we have to learn something deeply. Does it hurt a lot? Yeah. Do I want any of you to hurt? No, but we have to learn from those experiences. So I think getting more in touch with that side of you that's telling you all the time, this is not right. This is the next step for you. It's going to be so important no matter how hard it is. Okay, so the Eight of Cups with the Hermit, we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, it's not going to be a tough decision this time for most of you. I think you're going to just push people out and say, I'm not interested. If you can't come to me straight and be very forward and direct and show up emotionally the way I need you to, I'm just going to stay in my own little corner here and focus on myself and my money and my work and the things that bring me joy. The Four of Swords with the Emperor in reverse, we have the Seven of Cups. So in the near future, it seems like there's um, there might still be some confusion. You might be a, a little emotionally um, not exactly clear about how you're feeling. Doesn't mean that you won't clear things up. I feel like you're going to have some options show up in your life, one more or more, maybe even several. And if you're not clear that you're ready to take that step, I'd say take a step back because the emperor in reverse with the star in reverse tells me that you're not feeling so much like yourself, maybe the way that you normally would. So you might want to do a little more healing and thinking, making really wise choices emotionally and otherwise before you take any steps into these offers that may be coming. The Hierophant, a lot of, listen, a lot of connection in the near future. Yes, awareness maybe even a sense of, wow, I really feel the power of what's being shown to me. It's almost like the light is so bright, I can't ignore it. Your faith is seems to be getting stronger and stronger, and you're trusting even more, not only in, again, whatever it is that you believe in, but in yourself. And that's what's really important. So what you don't see coming with the sun in reverse and the two of pentacles, the balance. See, remember I said, these are in reverse for a reason, because you're not going to be in this energy anymore. Anything that has created uh, a sense of um, dissatisfaction, unhappiness, and been pulling at your energy, justice is coming in to say that things are going to balance out. She's beautiful. This is you making a choice for yourself, not to focus on somebody who brings a, a sense of discontent or just not happiness into your experience. And then we have the moon. Sometimes this can be a sense of fear around what's next. Are things going to happen the way I hope someday? The moon's going to reveal a lot of that to you. And that's where the balance is going to come in because the clarity comes with the moon as well. Sometimes those cycles can bring really big epiphany moments. That's what I'm feeling with this card. And it's also your card. So it brings you back to yourself. The justice brings you back to you. All right. So what spirit wants you to focus on? The lovers in reverse with the king of pentacles, we have the nine of swords. This is great because it's saying not focusing so much or primarily on your love relationships in the month of October is going to be important because that's what's going to help get you past the stress. So I don't see you as stressed out or losing sleep or being as discouraged as you may have felt previously. It looks like you're going to focus more on exactly what brings you joy. And if it is your partnership, great. But I feel like the balance that justice is bringing in is saying you need to find a way to focus as much on the other things as you do on your relationship. The King of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups, the judgment in reverse. The decision's already been made. You know it. Um, whatever needed to be shifted has been shifted. 
Uh, I don't really feel like there's a lot more around the judgment in reverse. So the challenge with the King of Cups in reverse and the devil, we then have the Page of Swords. So this one um, says, yeah, at times you may have difficulty really being clear and you may find that this person, I did little eyes on this one make me feel like he's touching his hand like I've got something for you I'm watching you yeah your person could be watching you and that could be another one of their toxic behaviors you know that can be an indication with the page of swords that somebody keeps things to themselves they watch what's going on and then they they come in and they say something but you know that this person has these tendencies anyway so it could be difficult for you to ignore those those things, those habits that that person has. It may be more challenging in the month of October. Okay, so let me clear this and we'll get specifically into the person. So it could be the same as what we found in the main reading or it could be a little bit different. Let's see. All right, so the Hermit card is the one that's going to stay on the top as we gather the cards, which doesn't surprise me. It just means a lot of inner reflection, kind of staying to yourself more doing things without needing to let everybody else know, just spending your time focused on either healing or the things that you love, your work, what's going to bring you the most joy in this month. Okay. I'm going to switch up to our next deck and let's see what's going on with you and your person. Okay. So your person's energy, we have the devil in reverse with strength in reverse. Interesting, the way they're coming out. So the Two of Cups. So they, this person doesn't have any indication of, um, I'm sorry, I hate to say this, of sometimes their shortcomings. So at times they may play the victim. They may always seem like they've been the person that's been the one who's had so much trouble. They blame everything on other people. I don't mean to be pooing on your person's energy but what's showing up in this reading if this isn't for you then just know that maybe another reading will be this seems like someone who doesn't really think forward they think everything in the past was everybody else's fault instead of their own and they don't take responsibility for their actions now your energy is the six of wands in reverse with the four of swords i think a part of you just doesn't want to focus on this anymore if it hasn't been successful um even if you thought that there was going to be marriage or some kind of a a living situation that was coming. I think you realize now you've got the clarity with this King of Swords that you got to stand up for yourself. And if this is the way this person is acting, that's not somebody that's going to be good for you in your life anyway. So a lot of you have a tough decision to make if you haven't already. There's that Page of Swords in, in reverse again, which means to me, somebody who doesn't really know how to tell the truth. And then you as the King of Wands and the King of Swords saying, I know who I am. I know how to connect to another person. I don't only feel my own feelings. I actually have empathy for other people and I'm very clear about who I am. I can connect very intimately. I'm not sure your person can, unfortunately. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, you've worked hard on this situation. So I think for some of you, it's kind of a question of, can I continue or... Should I walk away or you've already walked away and you're curious as to what's going to come up in this reading? And that's exactly what it's saying is this person's not focused on the relationship. It's more on themselves. So the four of pentacles, trying to hold tight onto something, the queen of wands, knowing your worth. So we've got the queen of wands and the king of wands coming out here and they're actually facing each other. And I think what you're looking for is somebody who can connect on a really deep uh, level. Someone who's not just um, in it for themselves is what I feel. Because when you get those two, that's a lot of passion. And you guys, I mean, we all want that. We all want something that's going to be deep and passionate. Well, not everybody. I guess some some signs don't need that as, as much. But this is being fired up and excited about something. And that's what you want to hold on to. The Page of Cups, something new, um, a newer experience. Because things weren't balanced out in the past. And or there was an expectation of marriage that didn't happen. All right, let's see what we get for okay. These are being a little finicky today. 
So we've got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. If you've walked away from this and you're curious, yeah, it's worth waiting for. So if some of you don't want to rush into anything and you're willing to take that time, that kind of hermit situation, then something's going to come towards you. And yes, it will be worth waiting for. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Um, for some of you, yes, that could be the case. Not particularly with this person. So if you've already let this go and you've met somebody new, that's what I would be more focused on. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Again, so if you're with somebody new, this is what I feel like this is focused on. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Now, for those of you that are just having some issues and it's not as serious as what I had mentioned, yes, you could be with somebody who may seem this way in the month of October, but is actually not a bad person. You're just feeling like, am I sure, right? Because all of these cards are pointing towards a really good, healthy relationship. Most of you, I think it's because you've let something go and you found somebody else. Hang on one second. All right, let's see what the Lover's Oracle has to say for you. This is for Pisces. Hmm. This feels like mixed energy. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Only time will tell. That's an important one. Secret admire. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Okay? So if you're with somebody new, they're saying that that person admires you or has more feelings for you than you even realize. All right. Let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. What do we have for Pisces, please? So we have a change in the wind. This is an important card because it says things are shifting and changing in your life and you realize that now. And it's like it's time to get on the horse and take the ride. So you could be born on the 12th, the 3rd, the 1st, or the 2nd of the month. And just know that when these things start to occur, yeah, they can be really uncomfortable at times. I understand that completely. But this is important. This change is happening for you, not to you. Imagine, imagine what... When we talk about imagining things, whatever it is that you want to create in your life, is everything going to unfold exactly the way that we want it to? It may not, but if you can imagine something, you can create it. So maybe this is a good time for you to take a step back and imagine how you want life to look moving forward. So you could be born on the 20th or the second of the month. And then this was on the bottom of the deck. And I know this is what we're all looking for. But I really do think for some of you, you found this person, you realize it's the king to your queen, king to your king, queen to your queen, whatever it is. Uh, you could be 35, born on the 8th, 3rd, or the 5th of the month. Loyal heart is going to be extremely important to those of you watching this particular video moving forward. I don't think you're going to accept anything less than somebody. Even when you've made choices in the in the past where you thought, this is it, I'm not doing the stuff that I did before this in a relationship. Now you really recognize the difference between somebody who has a loyal and open heart and someone who doesn't. And then we have regeneration. Perfect. Because tens are about new beginnings. You could be 46, born on the 4th, 6th, or the 10th of the month. This is great energy for the month of October. To me, it's a very fall-looking card anyway. But it's saying that there's a new you that's coming out. So what, whatever challenges you may have had which a lot of us have the last couple of weeks, months, you're coming out of that. You're regenerating. So take that time to allow these new things to grow that are trying to grow in your life because it's really beautiful. New beginnings for sure for a lot of you. And then two to see. Going with the flow, sevens are a beautiful number. Some of you, it could be your favorite number. You could be born on the seventh. But that's my card for going with the flow. It's just kind of hanging out and letting things happen and being really aware of your surroundings Instead of allowing life to kind of take you and have you on this constant wheel of, I don't know whether I'm coming or going, I feel like in October, you're going to take a deep breath and say, you know what, I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and see where things head. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. For all of your likes, if you haven't liked, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will do so. If you would like a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. 
or in the about section of my channel. I hope you have an amazing month and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.